Hey folks, and welcome to this sponsored video for Rune Strike. If you haven't seen this one yet, it's a new free-to-play CCG. You can play it on your phone, PC, uh, even on Mac, if you're so inclined. And I checked it out on stream for the first time ever yesterday, so I wanted to showcase some of that gameplay, show what the tutorial looks like so you can learn the game, and uh, my journey towards my very first PvP match. Do you think... I can win my very first PvP match of this game. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess you'll have to watch to find out. But uh, if you want to check this game out, of course, you can uh, peruse the links down there in the description uh, to see more details, read some other reviews and thoughts on the game. And of course, you can just watch the next 40 minutes or so to see Rune Strike in action. That said, let's go ahead and jump into some of the highlights from my first couple hours of Rune Strike. If you've played this, help me along because I have literally not even touched it. Interesting uh, artwork to open it up, though. I gotta say, <laughs> bold, bold artwork choice. Uh, the Pixie Queen. What happened? Where am I? You're trapped in a soul shard. I freed you. I can't remember anything. Snap out of it. We need you in fighting condition. Okay. Looks like I took two. I have a hundred health. Is that normal or is that a tutorial health total? I wonder. Sorry, I don't have much time. You must learn to harness this new magic. Okay. Summon minions. Sure. The bog lizard. It's a one three. Looks like it costs one mana. I don't know. This is the total mana available, I guess. Here's Dex. In turn button. Scroll. Wow, we live in the future. An actual scroll wheel. Power. This is how much damage is dealt. Health. This is how much damage they take. Sure. Oh, do we just auto attack as a hero? Let's see how well you can defend yourself from my minions. Forest Nymph. Oh, it seems like you just auto attack. Yeah, okay. So that might be why health totals are pretty high, since you're taking a bunch of chip damage out of nowhere. Does minion positioning matter? Do I determine how my minions attack? Minions don't attack on the turn they come into play. Oh, does it just attack stuff in front of it always? This minion was summoned in an empty lane. Unopposed minions. Oh, so it's kind of like uh, it is. Okay, so they will attack across or the champion. So that reminds me of uh, like artifact. Since this minion can't, minion can't attack this turn, you're safe for now. Sure. Okay. All right. You've drawn Mastodon. Summon it here. Blitz. Is that like a uh, charge? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to attack this turn. I guess rush is functionally the same thing. These are going face. Sure, sure. Easy stuff so far. Uh. Okay. Taken two. Infuse. Until the end of turn, target minion gains four damage. I actually like how they have the icons for the word like damage and stuff or attack instead. That's pretty nice. This is an open lane, so set up a lethal between our face attack and the minion. Got it. Makes sense to me. Uh, does our uh, dude attack over the top of minions, I guess? I didn't notice that, but it seems like it. Hey, hey, hey Pixie Queen. All right. Magic energies you had summoned in your battle with the Pixie Queen still course through you. Still hovering in the air before you, the Fae Queen speaks. Remember these lessons well. Yeah, it feels fine so far. I feel like the um, audio is not... I'm not really feeling the weight of it, I guess, if that makes sense quite yet. I wish there was a bit more punch, but we'll see. That's a hard thing to get right for indie teams. So, I get it. It's not easy. I tell you, I, one thing I like a lot about this quality of life right here is a cool feature. The attack and health numbers are sliding up while your card is in hand. That's actually pretty cool. So you can always see attack and health. At the beginning of each turn, you gain mana. Use your mana to play your runes. Did I miss what a rune is? It's called rune strike. We will take your money one way or another. 
Guild Thief. Oh, she's not been nerfed. She certainly hasn't been nerfed at all. This minion has stealth. She can't be blocked. Oh, okay, so she always goes face. Interesting. Rally. Trigger this ability at the beginning of its turn until it dies. Gain one mana. Okay, deal. So maybe I can put it over here since this can't be blocked. This is kind of a safe spot to put this, right? Because she's not going to hit it. And then nothing else is going to hit it in front of it. I mean, obviously it's some kind of direct damage spell or something, but... Giant Scorpion. Yeah, see, every minion play effect is the same sound. Oh, cards or runes. Oh, got it. Okay, they're all just called runes. I understand. That makes sense. Rune strike. Minions with war cry do something when they enter play. Deal two damage to an opposing minion. Sure. She goes face. So, indeed, this is kind of protected. I like that idea of hiding stuff behind other things. That's a fun idea. Your turn. Sure. She gave me extra mana. Nice. Warcry deal two damage to the enemy with the lowest health. Oh, so I can snipe the uh, stealth. Seems like that was uh, planned. A sneaky little <laughs> plan. I like it. Reminds me of Elder Scrolls uh, and Legends of Runeterra mix. Hmm. I never really played too much Elder Scrolls. I've been playing a fair bit of Runeterra. I could see that with blocking being positional and stuff. Runeterra, it's not, although you're not uh, sort of setting your blocker, it being positional still pretty interesting. So we can clear out the uh, scorpion here. A little off curve, I guess. Maybe I should have played this guy. Barry. Oh, when it dies, Death Rattle. Okay, cool. I dig it. Yeah, I feel like the art's really good. I just wish the sounds were a little punchier. Again, I don't want to harp on it because it's it's a tough thing to get right, but uh, this is lethal, right? Yeah. Got it. Easy. Victory. Purchase this pack for 200 gold. Got it. Open my pack. All right. Okay. These must be commons by that gym in the middle, I guess. Lowest rarity. Berserk, target friendly minion gains speed at the end of your turn, it dies. Cannibals, oh man. She's literally munching on that arm. Whenever everybody dies, this gains one attack, okay. Oh, these have classes too, I guess, or types anyway. Beast, strike, this gains one attack. Strike, your minions restore one health, the white mage. Yeah. Ooh, Enchantress looks fancy. After you cast a spell, gain one mana. Oh, interesting. Rare. Inspire to arms, all friendly minions gain two. Okay. Realms of Rune Strike, Order, Chaos, Nature, Myth, Light, and Shadow. Each champion has two realms. So, okay, kind of like classes. Champions can use runes only from one of their realms. Magus is a champion that uses Myth and Order. Okay, so purple and blue color cards, got it. Uh, okay, we unlocked these. Working our way through the tutorial. I have no idea how free to play friendly this is, by the way. I, I read a Google review that said it was pretty free to play friendly, but I, you know, I can't speak to that. There are a lot of currencies which sometimes make me nervous, but as long as they're rewarded a lot when you play, that's fine. Deranged Savant. Burn it all, I will boil you in blood. Can we talk about this? Die, die, die. Oh. So she's got like a hero power here. Shoot three flame bolts. Minions with guard protect their champion from other minion attacks. Does that mean all minion attacks on board? Unopposed minions must attack this minion. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Makes sense. Oh, they destroyed a minion to cast chaos bolts. They needed three blood for that. Okay, that's actually cool that there's an alternate resource built into the hero. Champion seen one blood at the beginning of each turn. You can use blood to cast unique and powerful abilities. Oh, we can do the same. Oh, it's not just her. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh wow, there's three of these. Not enough blood, but what does it do? Scroll of insight, draw a rune, it costs one less. All right, draw a card. Gain two. Oh, so you can trade blood for mana. Summon an arcane construct for five. That sounds cool. I have no place. This guy with four base attack seems like that chunks up pretty well, but does everybody start with 90 or 100 or... 
I don't know. Minion has speed. It gains an extra attack. Okay. Wind Fury style thing going on. You have enough blood to use your ability. All right. Reduce the cost. Cool. Hey, Toomey, dude. Thanks for the uh, 17 months up, man. That's amazing. Greatly appreciated. Okay. Three mana. I think there could be a slightly... Oh, no, never mind. There is a visual indicator. Okay, I see. The green hover means these are playable. I gotcha. Put this right in the middle. Wonder if there's any um, strategy, I'm sure there is, about where you place minions and when. I, I don't know what cards exist yet to even begin to imagine that, but it ha I have to imagine there's some strategy to uh, to where you're putting your stuff. Trigger an ability when your champion draws a rune. Oh, okay. Um, we can do that, and then that's going to gain some extra, extra attack. Did she attack? I didn't notice her attacking. I don't see attacks in the history bar either. I'm not sure. Okay, a lot of choices here. A lot of choices. Uh, five mana. Champion gains shield. That sounds pretty cool. Each time a friendly minion summon, this loses one health. Oh, okay, so overstated to start with, but then loses. Did she did not take return damage? Oh, so attacks are uh, unidirectional. They do not. I didn't know that. Attacks don't trade. You attack in one direction. Oh, oh, she didn't have blitz. Oh, of course, of course. It's not at end of turn. Yeah, of course. That's right. They have they have summoning sickness. That's right. I remember now. So the Mastodon will attack. Deal two to this guy. Abilities cost one less blood to play. Sure. Sure, card. I don't really need one right now. I think I'll just gain shield again. I don't know if that's the right positioning, but I like that it's uh, symmetrical. So I'm going <laughs> to stick with it. Mindless Raider. Oh my god. Four five. Attacked right away, cleared my dude. And again, trades don't happen, so he's alive at full health, sure. Mm -hmm. We can deal 13 damage this turn. Deal two. That doesn't seem that good. I don't love my choices that much here. No great I guess this is kind of a freebie trade here. But not for a turn. So that's trading back. That's fine, because this is a death rattle, I guess. That's not bad. A berry effect, that is. All right. I dig it. Savage Brute in 8-8. Oh, my God. Uh, Chaos Bolt's going... Fa oh, but... but uh, uh, that's actually not good, because you don't take trades on defense. You never want to do that. I, that's, I don't want that to happen. That's a bad thing. You don't take trades on defense, so that's not something we want to see. I take it back. Also, these aren't locked, so I guess we could just always use our rune. Can you use this twice in a turn? No. Okay, we're learning. We're learning. Um, I can use this to take a clean trade there. Could also go here, but it's not lethal quite yet, right? It's uh, it's only going to be 10 and they're at 12, so no, that won't be lethal. So we can take a trade. That'll be nice. Uh, oh, this might have been lethal. Whoopsie. Might it still be? No, no, because I used that there. Okay. I did not play that perfectly, but we're getting there. Uh, I think I missed lethal. Whatever. It happens. It happens. Okay. I think we're good to go, right? This is just a lethal face attack or whatever, minion two. We did it! Ascension. Sending your champion. What does that mean? What does ascending do? Just leveling up, getting rewards, I guess? Oh, I love menus. There's nothing I like better than like checking out new menus and seeing what a game's got in store. Here you see your progress on Path to Glory. Continue playing Trials of Olympus campaign. Okay, so that's the single player campaign. You can earn rewards, bunch of free packs and stuff, it looks like. This is still the prologue season, sure. Shadow pack. That looks like a new hero. 
some extra gold okay that seems like a lot of freebies i don't really know how all that stuff adds up but oh claim oh yeah four packs to open all right shadow pack or myth pack and a core pack what is this why does it look the same but it's stacked separately i don't know fuse and berry what is fuse Random friendly minion gains one health. Speeds, that's like a Wind Fury double attack. War Cry, draw two runes. That's pretty cheap to draw two cards in a potty. Bone Giant, that looks cool. Five mana gain, plus one, plus one for each friendly undead currently in play. Okay. Rare. Field Sergeant, your soldiers gain one attack. That seems like a really good buff. Okay. Gorgon Sister, opposing minion is permanently stunned and gains Suffer 2. I don't know what Suffer is. Oh, let me click now. This is health at the beginning of its attack phase. Oh, okay. And Fuse, when summoned adjacent to a minion with the same name, the two combine to form a single more powerful version. That actually sounds really cool. Okay. Kind of like Magnetic, but only when it's the same minion or kind of like tripling almost i guess that's cool uh heavy ballista still i don't know what still is yet there's that guard we saw Rare. ember mage war cry friendly minions gain counter deal two damage to attacking minion okay uh still yeah what is still oh it never attacks oh oh i see zero attack it's like a siege thing instead of a, a, a unit Ooh, four dudes to open rare rare rare, 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 rare. plague rats a random enemy minion gain suffer yeah chain gains shield the minion is all classes at all times oh we know that it's an amalgam elusive hob target friendly minions return to your hand you restore health equal to its health okay might be good with like war cry minions yeah i dig it and then we got a myth pack i guess all myth cards the hatchling yeah. drake we can we can fuse them uh i'm guessing flight means uh only blocked by flight yeah okay sure or elusive and rune terror that sort of thing flight and magic too right it's like that target for the mean gains flight okay i'm seeing a theme there's a fuse here Peek at your next rune, all enemy minions take damage equal to its mana cost. Oh, that's cool. High cost card removal spell. I dig it. Void mage is me without hair. Packs are 200 gold. Four packs is $5. Okay, so that's actually pretty cheap comparatively to Hearthstone. And they had six cards instead of five cards as well. I don't know the rarities for legendaries, of course, but that actually doesn't sound too bad. Okay, so slightly better than Hearthstone uh, monetization model, it seems. Friends list looks good. So I guess I've literally never played this game, so I'm just checking out all this stuff. I'm trying to give you a good picture of what you can expect. This is Arena. Unlock a, or defeat Apollo in the campaign to unlock the arena. In the solo arena, players earn rewards in structured single player play. In the versus arena, players go head to head. Okay, sure. Here's the campaign. Oh, 3D difficulty modes is fun. And Eye of Raw is a secondary campaign. That's pretty nice. And then, ooh, I love this. Crafting runes requires essence. Okay. Not going to be able to break down the math on that. Ooh, card backs. Wow, these look good. I like these. Ooh, conspiracy card back. <laughs> That's the one I want to use. Skins for heroes, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Herald of Stone, Vast Trample Warcry. Vast means can block enemies with flight. Oh, it's so big. They can't fly around it. That's actually really cool. Trample, excess damage, sure. Uh, and battle cry, yeah. We don't know what a bulwark spell is, but that's cool. Man, I like the look of these like uh, green cards a lot. All minions in hand blitz. Oh, wow, that's pretty nuts. Lucky the Leprechaun. Add a four-leaf clover to the top of your deck and shuffle another into your opponent's deck. Oh, I don't know what a four-leaf clover does, but that seems really fun. Okay. Sphinx. Draw runes until your hand is full, and... Oh my god, and every time you draw, you buff it with, with one attack, so it becomes huge. Okay, that's cool. 
ton of card draw and buff. Paulo, each time you play a spell, another friendly minion gains two health. Huh, that doesn't seem that good, I guess. Can't be targeted though, so maybe it scales like crazy. Seems a little slow to me. Raw, deal 10 damage to the champion. Oh my God. You can blast them with a pyro effect. Flight Veil and Consume. Oh, you can play it on top of something. Eat a minion, basically. Gain attack and health equal to the minion consumed. Oh, and it's got flight, so it's hard to block. I see, okay. There's Hercules, destroy a random legendary minion. Oh, seems like it might not be that good. Loki, I've been watching Loki, by the way. It's been very good. Warcry have played from your hand, target a minion, bury, become that minion. Okay. Odin, minions your hand have their attack and... Oh my God, that's just a big old hand buff, all right. I don't know how likely you are to play 10 mana cards. You know, I just don't know the meta at all or anything. So it's hard to hard to imagine exactly how feasible some of these things are. But let's hop into the campaign here and see how it goes. We got to beat Apollo. And then we'll do one PvP game. Three drop or we can do better. I think we can do better. Yeah, we can do better. Two drops, baby. Okay. Apollo attacked me already. What does this do? Target enemy is dealt damage equal to two times your attack. Oh, it seems like he's gonna have like a lot of attack shenanigans, huh? Rocking his attack and stuff, I'm sure. The Hedge Witch. After you can't spell your minions, restore one health. Okay, sure. It's a nice cheap guy. Innervate the archer adept, maybe hits this, then we can trade down next turn. Posing minion is stunned for one turn, okay. Oh, it's random, no! Before I thought it was uh, based on play order, but I guess we just happened to hit the play order one. Ah, uh, man. Ah, uh, that has a resurrect effect, okay. I see that now, I didn't notice that earlier. I'm a little sad. I'm learning though. Okay. Really can't see any reason to play across from this until, until I need the spot on board, right? I guess this is pretty good against it. It is gonna stun though. This guy's crazy good. Yeah, I don't know how to kill that. Maybe we just do this guy for now. I don't know. I guess it getting stunned doesn't really matter. Is there any way it's ever going to get to attack though, unless I kill this with a spell? Because it's always going to be stunned, right? I don't know. Which has a scarier effect, restore health or... Yeah, this has a scarier effect. I don't know how to clear this. It's just always... Is it a one-time effect or is it always happening? Yeah, it's stunned again. I don't know. This guy is just un... I can't deal with this guy, I guess. <laughs> He's just a hoss, I don't know. I need a damage spell, I guess. Oh my God, that... That was a lot of damage, yeah. I just don't know how to kill him. I guess I can just ignore him for the most part, but it seems not great. Oh, I could have played this and gained a mana and then played this. I just missed a mana. I mean, he's out of stuff, so. Again, I mean, maybe we're just gonna bleed him out, right? Oh, you know what he can do is use a, a rush guy too, I guess. Oh, oh, but he's just gonna come back. He's just gonna come back. Maybe that's okay though. This is so hard to deal with. I don't know. Am I missing something on this? I don't know how to deal with this guy. Hand locked again. He just always stuns you. 
There's no way to answer it. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is nice though. It's a good card. Big damage outs. That guy died because I killed him like like he wasn't ahead, right? Like he played it into my minion, so my minion had attack. But this guy's always a turn ahead, so it always stuns this dude. So I just don't know how to get through it. Other than this guy with blitz and then buffing him, right? Like that's one way, but uh Maybe I should have actually saved Maybe I should have saved the second one so I don't have to buff. Maybe I can just play these over two turns, I guess. Ultimately, I, I you know I don't necessarily need this slot. I just it seems hard for my deck to answer this. This is not quite enough damage. Maybe between the Mastodon and this though, I can get there, huh? Yeah, yeah, now it's dead. Okay. I finally killed that idiot. <laughs> it's too hard, man. I got him. Got him. Oh, I'm taking void damage. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. It's all good, I think. We're really far ahead, but... Scary. That ain't gonna do it, though. Lethal. Good job. Lady at the end. Reward Angel of Hope. You defeated a boss and earned a special reward. Okay. So did I unlock the arena? I think it said defeat Apollo. Congratulations, you've unlocked arena. Now, does that mean I get to play against other players immediately? Uh, you can play solo against AI or play against other players. Bronze, okay, this looks nice. Oh, these logos are really nice. Diamond, sapphire, ruby, gold, silver, and bronze. So diamond seems to be the peak. Best deck ever made, I think. That's, that's guaranteed diamond deck right there. Oh boy, I don't know which deck it is. I think it's the second one probably. If not, that's all right. Cannabis, we're playing against cannabis, okay. These seem pretty expensive. I can keep a four drop maybe. We had a lot of high cost stuff, so a four drop might be all right. Uh, okay, what does their hero do? They have some extra hero powers here that I don't have. The ethereal net, target minion stunned and protected. Draw a rune, restore health equal to its cost, okay? So they also have 100 health and four attack. Okay. Oh, that seems good. All right, if I, if I win my first ever match, I am going to be, I'm gonna feel like a superhero. I have nothing to do next turn though, so I'm not feeling great about it. I feel like you have so much health that cards like this that sacrifice health for stats seem really good, like the flame imps of the world, you know? After you cast a spell, this gains one attack, okay? Oh boy, we are dead. Floating mana, just completely floating mana. Good turn four maybe, but no turn five either. I keep drawing savage idiots. This is gonna draw me a card at least though. I like that this is on a separate resource than your than your mana. It feels it feels good. It feels good actually. All right. Oh hey, a minion to play too. Nice. Ooh, I think we still stick to the curve here, but uh, do I need to like block that thing? Like, is it getting out of hand? I don't know, man. It's uh, it's getting big. <laughs> it's getting real big. I don't know. Technically keep it up at the moment, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all enemy minions are stunned for one turn. Wow. Does that mean their turn or also my turn? Apparently it means also my turn. That's crazy. This minion gains guard. Oh, sure. Oh, I thought that was this guy. That's a different guy. Okay, I see. 
Wow. Blitz minions are maybe a good way to clear this. What does this have? Guard, war cry, have another friendly undead is in play. Oh, see, I don't have another friendly undead, I don't think, so. This may, this is the synergy card we maybe should have worried about. Conjure is pick one of three, it adds it to your hand. Oh, okay, cool, so discover kind of thing, yeah. All right. Trying to clear this to make up attacks, I guess. Although this only guards against stuff that's in an open lane and I have full lanes, so I guess that's not really a concern, is it? Oh, I gotta draw cards, man. Oh, dude, I can't fuse this yet. What is it? So if it fuses, it just, it just becomes, I need one of these to die so I can fuse a single more powerful version. I don't know what that's gonna look like, but I wanna see it. <laughs> Hope they kill this. Nice. Is that gonna... No. These seem really strong, by the way. Stunning an entire board like that's crazy. Because now I don't get to, like, take attacks and clear this. Oh, and they killed my Fuse Boy. No. <gasps> Guard and Vast. Yes. Guard's not that good, though, because... None of them are on empty lanes. Oh, man. We're about to get bodied, aren't we? About to get potted. <sighs> like these, this trades down, this trades down, this trades down. The stun is just crazy good. Seder Bard seems very strong. Vast means it blocks flying enemies. Basically, it's so freaking tall that flyers have to hit it, they can't dodge it. This is just an 8-8, man. Do I just dump this idiot? Oh, what's this do? Veil and Flight and Warcry conjure a random Fey and give it plus two, plus two. Oh, okay. Abomination. Uh, flight and evade or stealth and evade. I don't know. That seems cool enough. All right. I mean, I think we're in a decent spot, right? We're not like in a terrible spot. Basically using like chump blockers here. So I play this big savage idiot. Flight and deal five damage to the opposing minion. Okay, that wasn't so bad. What's this do? Guard again. Okay. Uh, I can go here and here, right? Okay. Big damage to these flights. I don't know if that's good trying to go over the top or not, but... Oh, this is gonna die though, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. This might die too, they can buff it at all. Void Mage, didn't we open one of those? That looks familiar. Yeah, I made a joke about his beard, yeah. Is this gonna say, I know, we're fighting Cannabis PL. This is a real match. Conjure a random spell from your void. Miracle, target friendly minion gains resurrect, wow. Oh yeah, see that got buffed. Yeah, I shouldn't have played that there. That was the wrong spot for that. That's gonna cost me, I think. Oh boy, I feel like I'm gonna die. Do I chump block that eight or just try to play it straight still? I don't know, I hate that this is not killing that. Like we're, ugh. He's at 40, but I'm basically a mile away. I don't know. I'm in a tough spot here. I guess currently she's hitting this actually, right? Because of the guard. Oh no, he killed it first. Oh, the attack is always in that order. She's always attacking last. Is that right? Or just is that random? I don't know. It's always right to left. Oh, okay. Well, that's counterintuitive, but I guess it's like symmetrical flipped or something. 
So you're seeing your opponents left to right. So that kind of makes sense. Closing minion is permanently stunned. You're kidding me. And gain suffer too. What? Permanently stunned? How am I supposed to beat that? Oh God, I am so dead. I'm so dead, dude. I don't know how you're supposed to be permanently stunned. Why did that say my name on screen? I missed it. What did it say? Is there like any way to emote or anything? Oh yeah, there was. How did I do that? Oh, I was, I bet it was void is why. Greetings, fellow master. Well, I think we're out of time, boys and gals. I gotta say, I think we're out of time. Urkling, Warcry, all other friendly, other friendly Fey gain plus one plus two. Urkling is fatal to non Fey. Okay, interesting. Can't play that right now, though. I, think I need stuff to play. Oh, I kind of have to chump block this, right? Doesn't matter. Okay. I don't know. Why, why was he stunned again? Oh, I don't even know if I noticed, but uh, that's sad. That had resurrects, so just came right back. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a card we saw where you look at your card and then it uh, deals damage to the board. Um, equal to uh, equal to the cost of the card. Okay, well that was our first first ever. Uh... Oh man, I gotta claim all this stuff. Holy crap! That was our first ever PvP match with a completely garbage deck. But um, I don't. It didn't go too bad, really, for yeah. such a crazy deck. I didn't think. Uh, oh, this guy looks cool. Draw by fire. Uh, okay, I think that's gonna wrap it up uh, for this Rune Strike sponsored stream. Um, I actually, I kind of like it. I think there's a lot that could be done to spruce up the feel of the game. We talked a lot about animation and sound design. I mean, just cranking up the sound punchiness like 20%, just making it feel a little bit more impactful and crunchy and meaty, I think would make combat feel a little bit more visceral and then slowing down the animations just a hair i i think there's a lot to be said for like efficiency and making it speedy and making it fluid you know like that's a good goal to have in mind in some games suffer the opposite problem make everything take a thousand years so there's a middle ground somewhere though where maybe animations feel a little bit more um weighty like you just get a little bit more time to parse exactly what's happening because it felt like it was just kind of Bing, bing, boom, 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 boom. Maybe part of that was playing against AI a lot. I didn't notice it as much against the, the real opponent because we were getting a little bit more time between actions. That would go a long way. Uh, but I liked the combat system a lot. I liked the uh, like laning and the non-symmetrical attacks. Like that added a lot of strategic depth, I think, as far as minion positioning and took value trading to kind of a different level. You can value trade without having health. You can value trade just based on attack priority and stuff. That was cool, which I don't even think I probably did it very well, but it's definitely seemed like a system with some uh, some thought that could go into it. Card design seemed engaging and interesting from what we saw, and we barely scratched the surface. Uh, I liked the hero power system. So it's a pretty neat stuff to build on. I can't really speak much to the monetization. It seems like we've earned quite a few things, but I don't know, you know, I don't know how many cards you need to be competitive, so. That's always something to keep in mind. It is a free to play model. So, you know, how, how friendly is the free to play yeah. model? I would encourage you to check out other people's thoughts and read reviews and stuff for, for what people think there. Cause I can't, I can't give you a good picture of that. Keep all that stuff in mind. But yeah, I think if you're looking for a fun little card diversion, I, I could see some, some, some depth here.
yeah, so that was our first foray into Rune Strike. If you liked what you saw, you want to check it out. Again, I'd point you down to the description for some links to see the uh, Google Play Store for Rune Strike or head to runestrike.com and uh, download it for Mac. It's free to play, so you can, you know, just check it out for free, run through the tutorial, see if you like it, and uh, give it a shot. That said, thanks so much for watching this video, and until next time, game on.